Strip away all the fierce makeup, battle coiffed hairstyles, and intricate tattoos, and the Norse warriors and Vikings are just like the rest of us. If we were all muscular and ridiculously good looking anyway. Sure, their characters look like they'd fit right into the Viking Age of history, but here's what these 21st century actors look like in real life. Travis Fimmel Though he doesn't sport Ragnar's shaved head and ZZ Top beard in real life, Travis Fimmel still looks pretty Vikingly, with a blonde beard and striking blue eyes. The actor and model doesn't actually hail from the Northlands of Scandinavia, though. Rather, he comes from Down Ender and was raised on his family's farm in Australia. Fimmel is set to write and produce a scripted anthology series for the History Channel detailing the stories of some of history's biggest anti-heroes, and is set to star as the gunslinging Wyatt Earp on the new series' first episode. Catherine Winnick It's easy to argue that Catherine Winnick is the most iconically Viking-looking actor on the entire show, even if she doesn't really hail from Scandinavia. She's actually Canadian, and Winnick doesn't only kick ass on TV, the actress has been training in martial arts since childhood and boasts some serious credentials. Winnick told Star Pulse, I got into my first martial arts school when I was 16. I have a third-degree black belt in Taekwondo and a second-degree black belt in Karate. She's also a licensed bodyguard and self-defense instructor. So don't mess with Earl Ingstad. Alexander Ludwig over the course of the show's run, Vikings fans have watched Ragnar Lothbrok's firstborn son grow up from a mama's boy to a bear-killing warrior. As his character has aged, we've seen actor Alexander Ludwig's look transition from short hair and a peach fuzz beard to a shaved head with one extra long braided ponytail. In real life, Ludwig keeps a beard going, though he doesn't walk around California with a waist-long Viking ponytail. Though Ludwig obviously didn't play the child version of Bjorn in the show, he has been acting since he was a child. Most notably, Ludwig took home an MTV Movie Award for Best Fight thanks to his role as Kato in The Hunger Games. Clive Standen Rollo is one of the most fearsome Vikings on the show, and he always looked the part with long, dark hair and a bushy beard. In real life, however, Clive Standen looks less ferocious, as he tends to stay sharp with short, tidy hair and a finely trimmed beard. But don't let that clean-shaven appearance fool you. The actor has been riding horses, jousting, and sword fighting since childhood, and is also a Muay Thai expert, meaning you wouldn't want to challenge Standen on any battlefield, Viking or not. Gustav Skarsgård as his name implies, Gustav Skarsgård is one of Vikings' only true Scandinavians, though he looks a lot less fearsome in real life. While Floki is famous for sporting a beard and that iconic crying makeup, Skarsgård stays clean-shaven and professional, just like the rest of his actor-filled family. It's a big family too. His father, Stellan Skarsgård, is easily the most famous of the family, having appeared in Good Will Hunting, the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You may also know Gustav's brother, Brother, Alexander Skarsgård, for his roles as Eric Northman in HBO's long-running series True Blood and the title character in The Legend of Tarzan. And chances are you know his other brother, Bill, thanks to his performance as Pennywise in Stephen King's It. That's one seriously prolific family. Alyssa Sutherland in the role of Queen Auslog, Alyssa Sutherland can bewitch even a Viking king with her stunning looks, a trait to be expected in a famous real-life fashion model. Sutherland got her modeling start when Cadbury revived its iconic Flake Girl advertising campaign. She's since been featured in campaigns for such brands as Calvin Klein and Chanel, among others. Not many models make the successful transition to acting like Sutherland already has, so we'll have to wait and see if this Viking star lands more prime roles in the future. Maud Hurst with her long blonde hair and kind face, Maud Hurst was a perfect casting choice for Helga, the wife of Floki, though she undoubtedly had some help. Her father is Michael Hurst, the writer and producer of Elizabeth, the Tudors, and Vikings. Hurst doesn't credit her father for getting her into the acting biz, though. She told a View of the Arts, I was always creative. I didn't grow up much with my father. I was raised by my mum, who was an artist, and that's what probably influenced my creativity. While there's no doubt Hurst deserves the role of Helga, it certainly never hurts to have your father as the show's producer. Linus Roach Give him a crown, and Linus Roach looks almost identical to King Eckbert in real life. Aside from Vikings, most television viewers probably know him best as Michael Cutter in the long-running crime drama Law & Order. On top of all that, Roach has also made quite a few big-screen appearances, with roles in Priest, Batman Begins, and The Chronicles of Riddick, among others. Mo Dunford Though he plays the English Prince Aethelwulf in Vikings, actor Mo Dunford is actually Irish, a fact slightly masked by the show's producers, who have given the character dark brown hair rather than Dunford's natural red. 
Irish audiences, however, are certainly inclined to recognise Dunford as the actor who played Patrick Fitzgerald in Patrick's Day, an award-winning Irish drama centred around a 26-year-old schizophrenic and a St. Patrick's Day disappearance in Dublin. Jenny Jacks Take Vikings Judith out of her medieval princess garb and stick her in some 21st century clothes, and you have actress Jenny Jacks. Besides a wardrobe change and some makeup, very little seems to be done to actually change Jacks' appearance for the show. Jacks is no stranger to the historical drama. Fans may recognize the actress from her other major role as Annie Miller in the BBC series Desperate Romantics. She's also an advocate for epilepsy awareness, and recently completed an open water swim and a Spartan sprint to raise money for the Epilepsy Society. Alex Anderson like his character Ivar the Boneless, Alex Anderson almost never sports a beard. Unlike his character, however, he looks a lot less scary in real life. And as you probably guessed, Anderson's legs work just fine. Aside from Vikings, Anderson also appeared in Danish drama A War, which received a nomination for the Best Foreign Language Film at the 88th Academy Awards. John Cavanaugh you probably won't recognize Vikings as Seer from anywhere, considering the blind oracle is covered in an extensive amount of makeup, has no eyes, and is most frequently portrayed in his dark hut. John Cavanaugh obviously doesn't look grotesque in real life, which may be why you missed the fact that he also played the Pope in a season 4 episode. Now that you know what he looks like, you might recognize Cavanaugh from the Tudors, as well as minor roles in bigger films like The Black Dahlia and Braveheart. Whether or not Cavanaugh enjoys having his palm regularly licked by Viking stars, however, is best left to speculation. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.